In last year's Batman Arkham City, the Caped Crusader faced one of the greatest adventures yet in his legendary career. Now, that game has made its way onto the Wii U as Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. This version is comparable to prior console releases, and the new touches added here don't contribute much to the experience, so there's no reason to buy this version if you have access to others. However, the Wii U version is still an excellent game, one that's absolutely worth playing if you haven't yet stepped into the bat suit and explored the open-air super prison of Arkham City. The city is one of the stars of this game, and the fantastic art design that gave Gotham its rich sense of history is undiminished on the Wii U. Arkham City's world is fully realized and crammed with details that make examining every storefront and exploring every dimly lit alley a pleasure. The old GCPD building. Freeze must be using one of the old forensic And the blocks. combat, which requires good timing to chain together attacks and counter enemy strikes, is immensely satisfying. The story has you swapping between Batman and Catwoman in a gripping adventure that makes fantastic use of many villains from Batman's rogues gallery. Batman and Catwoman sport different outfits here than their previous Arkham City getup. They now look a bit more metallic and, you guessed it, armored. That's not what I wanted to hear. It's good to see Catwoman wearing something a little more practical, but Batman's armored suit makes him look more like an action figure than he did in the original design. I've looked over Oracle's simulated stress tests for this new battle armored tech suit. These suits come equipped with battle armored tech mode, or BAT. Very subtle there, Bruce. Then release it on command. Do be mindful when using this BAT mode, Master Bruce. I... BAT is a pointless new feature. As you fight enemies, your suit stores up kinetic energy, and once it's full, you can trigger BAT, which makes your blows do double damage and activates a visual filter that highlights enemy positions. Being able to do more damage at set times means you can worry about precision a little less, so it saps some of the excitement from combat. Of course, you're free to just ignore BAT and not use it, but you can't just turn it off entirely. Sonar is a similarly silly addition. It lets you see enemy positions on your gamepad, and also automatically adds the locations of nearby Riddler trophies to your map. Thankfully, you can avoid using sonar and just spot and tag trophy positions yourself, which is much more involving than letting the sonar do it for you. The one cool adjustment Armored Edition makes is in sound design. Now, radio transmissions come through the gamepad's speaker. It's not much, but it's a neat little touch. Armored Edition features all the DLC from earlier versions, all of the challenge rooms and characters, as well as the Harley Quinn's Revenge story content. The new features are tacked on and inconsequential, but the core Arkham City experience is still one of the very best action adventures of recent years.